Just the sight of Bray Wyatt can be unnerving. Can be? Did you say can be, Cole? It's absolutely unnerving. I'm gonna have nightmares tonight. Oh, this is gonna be good. Oh. Quick thinking to avoid that. Two. Watch it. Ooh. Three. Oh, wow. Oh, once you get out of the ring, anything can happen. You've got exposed steel, concrete, the barricades, and all of it can be used to cause massive damage. Well, let's quickly get your opinion on Dean Ambrose. The sky's the limit. I see a lot of main events in the future. There's the suplex. Oh, uh, going to the top. High risk. Getting some air here. I need some too after sitting next to you. You know, the moves that Bray Wyatt has at his disposal are vicious. One is more severe than the next. Let's face it, his throw suplex, clotheslines, cross body, the avalanche, and running senton can put anyone away. Oh, yeah, and seeing that spider walk, that'll give you nightmares for months. After a move like that, he's going to need a chiropractor in his near future. Wow, he's still down after that. Both of these competitors have so much resolve, it's going to take a minor miracle to keep one of them down. If he keeps up this pace, this could turn real ugly real fast. When you see what Bray Wyatt suplexes, clotheslines, cross body, and running sentons do to an opponent, it's incredible. After Bray Wyatt avalanches an opponent, you can actually see the unhinged look in his eyes. It's like he becomes filled with a twisted joy over other people's pain. Just clothesline, just devastating. Well, we're on the move here. Two, three. Here we go, back inside the ring. What do you mean we? We're still outside the ring, Cole. It's them, they're inside the ring. Going for the cover. Wow, I cannot believe Dean Ambrose got out of that one. Of all the chilling moves that Bray Wyatt slaughters an opponent with, the worst of them all, which I guess makes sense, is his finishing move, Sister Abigail. Bray just buries his opponent's face right in the mat. This could end it in a hurry. finishing move is one of the most ghastly to see. And if you're an opponent, one of the worst to have to endure. He's too good inside the ring to be out on the floor for long. I don't agree with you, King. The more punishment he takes, the slower and slower he is getting back to his feet. Six. He wants this battle decided inside the ring. And that's why he's such a great athlete, such a, an important superstar. Dean Ambrose is just on a rampage. He's relentless. There's going to be a lot of offense in this match. Wouldn't have it any other way. That's what I love to see. No, oh, wait, nice reversal. Not today, too fast. 
Uh-oh. Going toe-to-toe -to -toe here. Here we go. This could be it. And there's the butterfly DDT. Why would you name something as vicious as a DDT? A butterfly. Two. He's trying to mangle his face here. Oh, he missed that one. God, that's got to hurt. Yeah, you're not doing any damage with swings like that, but keep doing it. The breeze may give him a cold. One of these guys is going to walk away with the win here tonight. I just can't imagine one of them also accepting defeat. Oh, Bray Wyatt felt that. The neck continues to take a beating here. Ray Wyatt reverses it. Taking this type of punishment must be damaging to his sternum. Damaging to his entire chest. Believe me, punishment like that takes its toll on your entire body. When he gets going like this, there are a few better. Look out! Not this! Wow! It doesn't get much better than that right there! Look how slow he is to recover here! That was some serious punishment! Look out, look out! This could be it! And there's the butterfly DDT. Why would you name something as vicious as a DDT? A butterfly! Looking for all the glory here. Two. Dean Ambrose can go. He did it! What a huge win! These two superstars have put each other through hell to get here. But we have a decisive winner here tonight. Yeah, this rivalry will have the WWE Universe talking for a while. I mean, even as they start putting these last few weeks behind them, I have a feeling this won't be the last time we see them cross paths.